So let's carry on talking about the top 10 things about Labradors. Is that you, Sully? Are you the best Labrador in the world? Let's go for a nice walk, let's take him swimming and we'll talk about the next best thing. We're doing top 10 and today we're on number seven. So if you are new here, make sure you go and check out the top 10, nine and eight, and then you can come back here or you can watch them after. It really doesn't matter what order you watch them in. Sully sit. Good boy, you good boy. That's a good sit. That's a good sit. Come on then, let's go. Heel. Good heel, yes. Do you know where we are? Are you excited to go and dive in that water? Well, you can't go in that water yet, mate. But how about you do me a nice sit? Thank you, good boy. You're gonna do me a good stay? Good stay. Are you gonna do me a stay? Are you gonna stay? Sully stay. Sully break. Yes, what's this? It's just the lead. Let's go, come on. Go, go, go. Whoa. So, whoa, <laughs> it's slippy. We are in one of my favorite places. Now, if you saw my main channel video from last night, look at the state of that. I think we will avoid going that way. Let's go this way, shall we, Sully? I think we'll go this way. But if you saw my main video, my video on the main channel yesterday, where I was doing a bit of a life update, you'll know that we have recently moved into a new office. We've got a new studio, so much stuff going on business-wise. And I also mentioned on a few videos ago that we're having a new kitchen fitted. And me being me, when I was ripping out the old kitchen, I may or may not rag some wires out the wall, which completely blew all the electrics in our entire house. So we're kind of not able to live at our house because we've got no kitchen and no electrics. And so we're kind of between our house a little bit, my parents' house, moving into the new office, staying on top of all business stuff. It's been some mental 12, 14 hour days. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take 45 minutes. I'm gonna come into the forest, get some peace and quiet, get some fresh air, spend some time with my mate Sully, and talk to you guys about one of the best top 10 things about Labradors in the process. I'm coming, I'm coming. Can't keep up with you anymore, mate. You're too fast. Yeah, Speedy Gonzalez, Sully, what's this? Oh, what's that over there, Sully? Is that your special super jumping in spot? You know where we are. Do you wanna go for a swim? Do you wanna show all the people on the interwebs how much of a good swimmer you are? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Say, hey, hello, come on, Dad. Hurry up, fat boy, I wanna swim. When he sees I pick this up, he's gonna be a happy boy. He's already gone down to the water. Can you see him waiting for me? Wait till he spots I've got a stick in my hand. Just walk casually, like nothing's happening. He's seen it. Have you seen it? You can't have it yet. You can't have it yet. And that's not where we're gonna swim today. We're gonna swim further down here, mate. I know you're excited. I know you're excited. I know you wanna show off how much of a good diver you are. You're gonna get a chance, I promise. Patience is a virtue, Sullivan. I've always wanted to do some proper obedience retrievals with Sully. We did do a little bit when he was a puppy, but because I've got small sons, they like to play fetch with him as well, and it confuses him, because obviously I can't make my three-year-old have the level of obedience that you can do with Sully. So, although it might not be the best, he'll go in a nice sit and stay though, won't you? He's got good manners. But maybe in the future, when my boys are a bit older, I can get them involved and do some real proper retrieval to the heel position, holding on to the dummy or the object until you take it off them, throwing it. I can throw it and I can make him wait and break, but that wouldn't be fair. Look at that excitement. That's what fascinates me about him because he's a working Labrador from working lines. When I pick a stick up, he is laser focused. His demeanor, his body language, everything changes and he goes into work mode. And like now he's just laser focused on the task at hand. Ah, 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 ah. Sit, good. You ready? Are you ready? And he will do this all day, hours and hours. Happiest pooch in the entire world. He absolutely loves it. And again, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret letting him have a swim when he stinks like a wet dog later and he's getting all the furniture wet and muddy. But again, you guys know I love my dog. So who am I to deny him this treat? So she'll carry on, buddy. Do you wanna go again? You wanna sit then? Sit. Good sit. Break. Which, 
I suppose is a good time to talk about the number seventh best thing about the Labrador Retriever, which ties in quite nicely with this actually. And it's something that a lot of people hear about, about the Labrador, but you don't really understand how good it is until you see it in action, and that is the Labrador soft mouth. Now, if you don't know what a soft mouth is, it's because Labradors, especially working Labradors like Sully as opposed to more show Labradors. Are you excited? You ready for me to go again? Sit. Good sit. Break. <laughs> because they're bred just to do this all day, out of fishing boats, uh, retrieving fish, retrieving nets, retrieving birds that have been shot down. Now, if you've got a dog that's doing that, what you don't want them to do is go and pick up the thing that you've just shot that you want to eat for dinner tonight, and then it come back full of teeth holes and teeth marks. So they're bred to have what they call a soft mouth. So when they carry something, they carry it really gently. Now, one of the downsides to that is why they're kind of learning that skill set and that bite inhibition and that soft mouth. Thank you, good boy. Thank you, good boy. You ready? Are you ready? Go get it. You can watch it all day, can't you? But while they're working out that process of the bite inhibition of the soft mouth, they chew a lot, which is why Labradors are renowned for chewing so much. But once they kind of get past that phase and they learn that bite inhibition and they get that kind of soft mouth developed and as good canine leaders, we can help them achieve that. Thank you, mate. Thank you for getting me soaking wet. Yes, I know you want me to throw it again. Should we do it again? Are you ready? Should we make sure people can see? <laughs> Gets me every time. I just love how much he loves it. It's the same with any dog. It's why I love working dogs so much. And it doesn't necessarily mean whether it's a retriever, whether it's a garden breed. You guys know I love garden breeds. Any kind of dog that's just terriers, Jack Russell terriers I had all my life growing up and watching them work is one of the best things in the planet. And watching how it comes out the box as well, like in their genetics, in their blood, they're hardwired for these jobs. And Sully is... Um, is like that with retrieval, especially retrieval out of water. Pretty sure you were a fish. So let's do, let's try and do some proper, we'll do some retrieval work. Let me kind of show you a good example of a good drill you can do with a retrieval dog if you want to just kind of layer up that mental stimulation. So we'll use a lead, Sully. So Sully, heel, good heel, sit. Good sit, thank you, stay, stay. So I'm stood on the lead. We're gonna do some kind of higher level retrieval work now. So we haven't done this for about six months because it's been winter. And like I say, my boys play fetch with him all the time and it's confusing for him to, to not understand. But sit, good, stay. You see what I mean about that laser focus? Perhaps for what, he's, he's not a working dog, he's a companion animal, but you put him in work mode and he goes through the roof. So I'm gonna throw this now. Sully, stay, stay. So let me kind of, show you guys okay i'll show you so sully stay so we put him in a sit so we try to break that sit good stay stay good stay 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 sully break So if you've got a retrieval dog or you've got a dog that you like to play fetch, that right there is a fantastic drill that you can work on for loads of different things from your just leadership, basic obedience of sit and stay. But what's really good about a drill like that is working on your dog's impulse control. Sully, like I say, would rather do this than anything else in the planet. All he wants to do is run in and get that stick. So that impulse control of him seeing it go, because like I say, usually we don't do proper formal retrieval, we just play fetch and there's no kind of asking much of him other than to go and get it and bring it back. To ask him to sit and stay and to fight that impulse is a very difficult challenge. Now, I, this is probably silly, I shouldn't do this without a lead, because like I say, just uh, because of what I do for a living doesn't mean that dogs naturally come out. I haven't done this for months, so it'd be unfair of me to ask Sully when we haven't drilled this, but so sort of heel, good, sit, good, stay, stay. That's a good stay. Sully, stay, stay. I'm gonna use my foot, stay, S stay, stay. So this is the impulse control level. I'm gonna try and bring my tone down so I don't want to excite him. Stay. You can see he's laser focused on his goal, his task. Sully, so break. and off he goes. Now that was very successful. Now if he had have broke then and gone and I didn't have a lead on to stop him, that would have been my fault. 
but that's a drill that we'll work on and now what we'll do is we'll work on him getting out and he's just dropped the stick but I'll get him to come around the back of me go into heel hold on to that stick and you can layer up drills like that so you can turn what is essentially just a really fun game of fetch into a really high level kind of obedience drill now they enjoy it more people often think when you're working them it kind of impacts that relationship, especially with a companion dog, but the best way to have the best relationship possible with a companion dog is to work them. So if you've got a Labrador in particular, if you're following this channel because you like Labradors, or you've just found me because you like Labradors, and if you have just found me, hello, I'm Will, I'm a canine behaviorist. I've got a main channel called The Canine Show that we go into much more detail about that kind of canine behavior, but this is just kind of my fun, creative outlet for the cool stuff that I do with my best mate here. Sully. So that was the seventh best thing about Labradors being the fact that they have that soft mouth. The reason that's fantastic, we kind of got interrupted why me doing that drill is because after they've kind of learned it and got through that stage of the excessive chewing and the bite inhibition training that kind of all dogs go through is that especially if you've got children, they'll take things off you very gently, very cautiously. You can give them some food out your hand and they'll very gingerly take it. If you're playing with them, they won't play too rough. You very rarely will get uh, any kind of severe accidental bite with a Labrador because their bite inhibition is through the roof because they were bred not to put any puncture holes into the birds or the fish that they were bred to go and retrieve for the people that they worked with. So yeah, let's do one more. Should we do one more, Sully? Should we do one more, see if we can do a good? Sit and stay. Where's your stick gone? We've lost it. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Where's your stick? Where's it gone? Should we use this one? Oh, I made that mistake. Right, Sully. Heel. Heel. Good. Stay. Sit. Stay. Good. Yes. Good. Stay. Stay. Good stay. Good stay. Thank you, Sully. Good stay. I'm gonna wait for some eye contact. So I want him to look for me for tch -tch. stay. Verbal correction there, because he was about to break. Again, impulse control. What I'm gonna wait for here is for him to look to me for direction. Tch -tch. Eye contact. Come, good boy. Break. Good. So obviously he wasn't looking at me there because he was laser focused on the task that I asked for him. But something that I always repeat to the clients that I work with is that you always want that eye contact from the dog. It furthers that relationship of kind of the dog and you as a leader looking to you for direction. So that's what I wanted from him there. Kind of layer it up another level was for him to look for me. Can I go yet? Now you can go rather than him wanting, I want to go, I want to go, I'm desperate to go. I want to make the decision myself. All I was asking was you wait nicely, look for me. You do that, good things happen, which is about that. So, right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like if you're new here, subscribe. If you're new here, like if you're new or not new. You know what I mean. And I'll see you on the next episode here on Will & Sully.